It is indeed great to see young South Africans inspiring, but not just on the sporting fields, but also in the arts. We're talking right now about the Maboning Arts Experience, which has created art galleries in people's homes, starting off first in Alex, and now they're doing it in Cape Town in Langa. And we're joined by the curator, Simpiwe Ngwenya, here with us. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. I'm very excited to talk to you about this idea that you've had. So it's called the Maboning Art Experience. Yeah. And uh, where did it all start, essentially? Um, basically, I come from Alexandra Township. Yeah. Used to be called Dark City before. Uh -huh. uh, and Maboneng is a Sutu word for the place of lights. Yes. So basically, when the government put in lights in Alexandra Township, it was called Maboneng. Maboneng. Exactly. And it's chosen Maboneng because that's where all the flashing lights are. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. point. Yeah, exactly. So that's the way it began. I'm an artist myself, mm. uh, but I couldn't exhibit in like all these flashy galleries and stuff. Yeah. So I just went back home and started exhibiting in my neighbor's homes. Um, my aunt's house, you know, my friends. Everywhere. Wow. Yeah. So wh how does it work? Because you've created art galleries in people's homes. So yeah. you go around, kon, 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 makula, ne, beng, funugu. Yeah, basically, it's a, <laughs> it's like a lot that. of work. It's a lot of work, you know, and we have like about 70 homes that we've turned into galleries right now. Yeah. So we have to talk with every single home, with every single family. Mm -hmm. And as well, like, it's not just like they're working for me. We work together, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So each and every single home has got their own responsibility of running their own gallery. And like, for instance, in Langa, which is the Langa tag, is the Langa Township Art Gallery. Yeah. The 10 homes are together and all of them have got their own a uh, tour guide inside of them. Yeah. And basically you walk into every single home and you watch like really the best high-end art inside that you can imagine. That's crazy because I think it gives people a whole new level of appreciation of the art, especially where you can experience that art in its kind of original environment, if you can say. So how have you seen this project change the lives, I'm sure, of, of the, the artists that are yeah. involved as well as the communities that you've involved? Yeah, I mean, there's a, a huge training component that's behind it. You yeah. Know? So people... You know, sometimes people, the first time they went into a gallery was when the gallery came into their house. You know? Yeah, yeah. So that was a big thing, and it's a high, big raise of curiosity, and people really want to know what art is about, how to sell art, how to hang art, how to lead guests to go into, into homes, different homes, and they know how to treat artists. And artists now also, um, their artwork was just really coming from the township and going to the city. Yes. But now it's actually getting seen before it even gets out. Sometimes it gets sold before it goes to a gallery in the city as well, you know? That's so cool. It must be yeah. pushing quite a lot of tourism that way as well. Because now people that come to the townships, not only can they go and have, let's say, a Shesanyama experience, yeah. now they can go and check out some cool art. But with the, the initiative now becoming part of the World Design Capital 2014, what exactly does that mean? Well, basically, it's all about social innovation, you yeah. know, and for me, design is not necessarily graphics, but also social design and how you actually get to treat people and how people get to treat each other. So that means from a township to a city, what type of connection can be built between that? Yeah. And that's how design can make people work together and be together, you know. Yeah. So for us, it's like social innovation, but high end and high performance social yeah. innovation. When people go to these art galleries in people's homes, what, what, do you, what can they expect in terms of the experience? Because obviously you've lived it. Yes. you've seen it and envisioned it, what can they expect? Well, it's really the best way to meet people, first of all, you mm -hmm. know, so it's not like that thing going into the township and sort of going by with a camera like it's a zoo or something. You <laughs> really get to meet people and you really get to experience the proud, the proudness of each family yeah. inside the township and then also the artwork as well, you know. So we get artworks from all over the place, you know, like from different townships across South Africa because we work nationally yeah. and everybody's got like super excellence in terms of how they do their work, their pride that they have on their work. Yeah. And when that mixes with the families who love art in that way, then it's like a really big experience that Amazing. you get to have. I really hope that this initiative grows to even bigger townships, uh, not just Alex and Langa, but to other young South Africans out there that might be faced with a challenge. Like, you were faced with a challenge. You were an artist. You needed to have your work seen, but you couldn't get to the flashy uh, gallery. So you made your own plan. Yeah. What would you say to them? How should they go about trying to solve those problems? I would say that artists out there, or even just young people, you yeah. need to merge with each other. For example, I've merged with Ikapa Dance Theatre, um, oh, yeah. and we've become Arts Township International, and we've become much bigger, and we make creative districts in homes. Yeah. So we're not only turning homes into galleries, but into innovation homes. Um, we're turning homes into museums. So people need to merge with each other and not necessarily work in silos, and that's going to make the big help. It's not that you have to work by yourself, yeah. but you have to work strictly with people and merge, not just in collaborating, but in moving forward together, you know. Fantastic. Dude, yeah. congratulations to you and your team for this wonderful experience. It's called the Mabodeng Arts Experience, which is Thanks. running all year long, and it is part of uh, the World Design Capital 2014. Really, really inspiring stuff here on your feel-good breakfast show. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.